Hi everyone, my name is Ziad. Today me and my, my group, Jamal and Abdullah, we're going to explain about how to drill a producer and injector wells and also how to convert a producer well into an injector well. My part, I'm gonna show you how to drill an injector well. For example, this is our model. Okay. And this is the data we're working on it first of all there are three keywords we have to insert into uh, our data in order to drill uh, an injector well the three keywords are under the uh, should be uh, entered under the schedule but before that, we need to select the time. I need to select the time at which I need to uh, in, uh, drill the injector well. They are usually uh, drill to maintain pressure. So time is uh, really important for that. So the three keywords are simply well uh, species the comdata and uh, and W con inject stands for well uh, control uh, injector injection. I'll just simply copy them to save time, and uh, I'm going to uh, go through each item. So, for example, for this model or this case, I'm going to choose 2020 to drill. An injector well. And here are the uh, three keywords must be added well species comdat and W con inject. The first item stands for the uh, well name, second is the region, third and fourth stands for the uh, coordinates of the grid zone. Like for this model. I'm gonna choose this part to be my to uh, select this grid cell to drill the injector well. So coordinates for X and Y are shown as here. Three and sixteen. Three stands for for the X and sixteen stands for Y. So go back to our data and change the coordinates. For example, 6 and 13 or 3. The water is the type of fluid injected. Comdat, first item stands for the uh, well name. Uh, third and fourth are the coordinates. Just add to star will simply uh, automatically follow the the coordinates are available here uh, 1 and 12 are the the top and layer top and bottom layer of the perforation for this case I chose from layer 1 to layer 12 open uh, stands for the uh, well status whether it's open or shut For the uh, well control injection, uh, first item is the name, second is the type of fluid injected, third is the status, whether it's open or closed or shut, uh, fourth is the control mode, and the fifth is the uh, injection rate. So after completing the three keywords, not to forget here to add the word dates so that the rest of the years here will be verified after completing and uh, editing our data save it and then reload the data and press run See, as it's clear here, 
at 2020 the uh, drilled well appeared here and that was how to uh, drill an injector well producer and uh, converting producing to injector well will be explained in details by uh, Jamal and Abdullah Hello, my name is Jamal. I'm going to explain about how to drill a production well from the coding and also from the T-Navigator itself. So we have just to take data. Const. I'll just run the data. As I want to drill a new wall so there is a code we have to add it in the coding so this is the code control c then just go to the file and open the data of your case then go to the schedule to add the data like add slash then dates Then just paste the data. This is the data for the new well, the location and everything. So we have just to save it and then reload and run it again to see our data. This is the framework. Make it as a for the oil saturation this is our vertical data if we want to change it to horizontal just we have to go to the code itself then we have to change from the compilation data just we have to copy this control c then control v copy it three times and you have to change the x axis if we want to go like like this way to the x axis we have to change it five and then this will be four and also we have to change the perforation from one to two and from two to three and from three to four and so on if you want to drill to the last layer just you have to continue uh, continue and copy for all the layers and then we have to save save and reload then just uh, run our case to see now it's already horizontal well so now i'm going to explain also about how to drill from the t navigator itself without adding any coding so just if we want to drill our here so we'll just click by the right hand add well this is our well name and this is the group as it is in the center the status of the well open this is the date 2016 and this is the other data this is the x-axis y-axis and as it is vertical so just add well so our well is added directly added so if i want to, to drill also a horizontal well just i will remove all of this I will take this layer so then I'll just make it as a frame I'll go to the click by the right hand and make it deviated well we have to change it to deviated well and also the name this is the center open and this let's make it 2013 and if we want to just go to this great cell add well also if we want to go to this great cell add well by this 
it will be drilled as also if you want to go it will be drilled as a vertical well by this i will be already finished my part uh, thank you for listening and this is the end of my part thank you Hi everyone, my name is Abdullah Salam Salamani. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to convert a producer well to injector well. So to uh, to convert a producer well to injector well, we have to insert four codes, uh, starting by WCOM Broad, which is control the well production. And under this code, we have many items. The first one is the name of the well. We have Broad 4 and the status of the well. We want to shut Broad 4 in order to inject to uh, convert it to injector and we have a uh, group here to be controlled by group and here we have three defaults the oil rate target and gas rate target and water rate target and here we have 5000 which is the liquid rate target and one default which is the reservoir volume and here the bottom hole pressure and the second code which is well space well space is the general specification of the well and under the well space we have the name of the injector and the region whether center or west and here is the x axis and y axis and one default which is the reference depth and here is the type of the injection we have water injection and range radius the third code is comp that which is the well compilation of the well starting by the name of the injector in one and the x axis y axis and z axis from the top and z axis from the bottom and we have the status of the injector and we have two default which is the saturation table and transmissibility factor and we have here the well well diameter well bore diameter and we have one uh, one default which is uh, one default which is uh, effective permeability and we have two two here is the scheme factor and the last code which is w con inj which is control the will injection starting by the name as before inj one and the type of uh, injector water and the status open and the rate which is the uh, surface fluid rate and here is the surface control by surface flow rate mean rate and here's the surface flow rate equal 7500 and one default one default which is the reservoir volume and here is the bottom hole pressure so uh, let's start copying this data and open our navigator and open our data which is go Let's see if we saw here there is no change not because we didn't we didn't change the data so here we want to convert this well okay open from the file group and go to the schedule section under for example 2009 to put slash and paste our data and here down here in the end of the code just write this and save and run again reload and then run see here is our injection converted from brute 4 to inch 1 as mentioned before Okay, thank you for your watching. Here we reach to the end of our video. Thank you so much.